everybody. Isn't it lovely to see the sunshine today? How are you feeling today? I went out and I bought myself a newspaper. I got the Daily Mail. I don't know whether you got the newspaper today. Well, I did and I thought I want to cheer myself up. I'll look for some good news. So I opened it up and it said that there's been three and a half thousand ballot papers sent in a mistake in the EU vote fiasco. Then I read it said, bodies could wash up on British summers, all summer ones Farage. I thought, well that's not good news, is it? So I looked a bit further and it said, Paris floods, now the worst for a century. And then I looked on the next page for some more good news and it said, judges fury at club that abandoned drunk girl to sex monsters. So I turned over some more pages hoping I'd find some good news. And then I found even worse bad news. If you're looking at page 11, it tells us about the Polish rapist who slipped into Britain unchecked. And what did he do? He beat up a young man at a bus stop with learning difficulties and then dragged him into the middle of the road in front of a bus. So I haven't looked any further because there doesn't seem to be any good news that I can find in this newspaper. And I wonder what you think today, whether as you look around at this world and you see the messes and the stuff that's going on, you think, where is the good news? Well, today I want to tell you where I found good news. I found good news not in a newspaper, but in a person called Jesus Christ, who we can read about in the Bible. And Jesus came to save us from sin, from all the stuff that's wrecking our society. He came to do two things, to give us pardon and to give us power, to give us pardon from our sins and wrongdoings so that our past can be forgiven. And he gave us power to live a new life because when you look around we need to hear the good news of Jesus in our schools in our colleges in our universities in our families in our homes what else is going to change society because the power of Jesus is the power to transform lives we need to stop all this lying all this violence all this cheating all this hate all these awful things that are going on we're only going to change if we go back to the good news of Jesus and it all starts with you it starts with you you have to come to Jesus to let him transform your life like he transformed my life so that I receive pardon and I receive power to live a new life and that's the good news I want to share with you today and I hope that you would think about it carefully think about this Jesus that came to earth to give you the gift of eternal life so that you could one day go to be with him in heaven and now I've got some little booklets here called peace to God and if you're interested they're free just come to me and I'll give you one and if you want to talk some more I'm here as well just to chat through so God bless you all and I'm going to hand back to our wonderful singer Jenny thank you thank you Pamela we're going to do a couple more songs